Up until this point, Andy, what have I asked you to memorize for this class? Like in this lecture? No, 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 for this entire, so far this school year. Um, no formulas, I guess. Just, I guess you're supposed to know like scalar and vector, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Up until this point, really, I've not asked you to memorize anything. Right? Yeah. Uh, some of you might argue that Sokoto and the Pythagorean Theorem are things I've asked you to memorize, but I would say no. You already had those memorized from a different class. I simply said you need to find your index card in your brain for that. Same is true for perhaps the number of centimeters in a meter, etc. I don't ask you to memorize much. I'm not a big fan of memorization. However, I do think that when it comes to being stranded on a desert island, that nothing is more important than Newton's three laws. So, you must have Newton's three laws memorized. We're gonna go through two of them today. We'll get to the third one next time. We will start with Newton's first law. Sir Isaac Newton, mid 1600s, came up with his three laws, and we still have them today. Newton's first law. An object at rest will remain at rest, and an object in motion will remain at a constant velocity unless acted upon by a net ex net external force. An object at rest will remain at rest, an object in motion will maintain a uh, constant velocity unless acted upon by a net external force. Constant velocity and net external are the two things that often get neglected when it comes to this law. An object at rest will remain at rest, and an object in motion will remain at a constant velocity unless acted upon by a net external force. First off, what does the word net mean? The term net. Knickerbocker? Uh, close, it, it means a little bit more than just the final. Um, but yeah. Result? Uh, yes, but how are we getting to the result? Kind of. Yes, I agree with all this, but you're missing, which was interesting, you're missing that the main thing. Come back to Knickerbocker. Like a combination? Yes, but how are we combining them? Yes, this is fun. Wait, wait, wait. See? Do you see this? People raise their hands in this class. I don't know what's wrong. Nick. Wait, after everything's said and done. <laughs> wow, this is fun. <laughs> yes, really. Sum. The sum, when you add everything together, what you get at the end when everything's said and done. After you <laughs> sum everything. So the net literally means the addition of. So let's start with this one. Mitch, is the dictionary at rest or in motion? At rest. It's at rest. How about now? Okay, and now? Okay, so it's continuing to stay at rest. Considering we have an object at rest that is maintaining its state of motion at, as being at rest, what do we know then about the net external force acting on the dictionary? Um, Josh? Zero. It's zero. Notice, it doesn't mean that any one of the individual forces is equal to zero, but if we were to add all these forces together, the end result the summation will be that it will add up to zero because it is remaining at rest because there's no external force acting on it. That is the first one. The second one that I have for you is an object in motion. What I have for you is this, a steel sphere. This is not a normal steel sphere, not one that you will use in labs. I have this one specifically for this demo because it is so bright and shiny. Jessica, hold out your hand. You get to hold it in your hand. Ooh. How do you feel? Um, it's heavy. 
It's heavy, there we go, good, okay. So we have an object, shortly this object will be in motion, and it will maintain a constant velocity unless acted upon by a net external force. Please, enjoy. There it is. We have an object in motion. It will maintain a constant velocity unless acted upon by a net external force. As you can see, ooh, Grimmer gets, oh, 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 he does get to hold the sphere. How do you feel? Oh, good, he feels important. That's good. Okay, so we had an object in motion maintaining a constant velocity unless acted upon by a net external force. It hit, clearly, when it hit Grimmer's desk, it was acted on by a net external force. But maintaining a constant velocity actually means two things. And I want to make sure we understand what those two things are. You could tell me one of those two things. It will maintain a constant velocity. Nickerbach. Um, magnitude and direction. Magnitude and direction, because velocity is a vector. It means it maintains a constant speed, which would be the magnitude, and a constant direction. So this object was maintaining a constant speed and direction until it experienced a net external force when it ran into Yes. That is not quite true because the, fo the force of friction was actually slowing down just a little bit, um, but we were going to consider that negligible for the purpose of today.